Do you know why tardigrades and octopuses are extremophiles? There are creatures on Earth that shouldn't exist, not by the rules we thought life followed. Take the tardigrade, a microscopic animal barely visible to the naked eye. You can freeze it to near absolute zero, boil it, blast it with radiation a thousand times stronger than what would kill you. You can even send it into the vacuum of space, and it survives. How? It doesn't fight the environment, it surrenders to it. When conditions get extreme, the tardigrade shuts down. It expels almost all the water from its body, curls up, and enters a state called cryptobiosis. Not alive, not dead. Waiting. Decades can pass. Then, add water, and it wakes up, as if nothing happened. Then there's the octopus. Three hearts, blue blood, a brain in every arm. It can edit its own RNA on the fly, rewriting its genetic instructions to adapt to freezing ocean depths. These aren't anomalies, they're proof. Life doesn't need comfort, it doesn't need ease, it needs will. And these creatures, they have more of it than most. They are extremophiles, masters of survival, in a universe that tries constantly to erase them, but they remain. The universe is still speaking. Subscribe and keep listening.